Hollywood might be the land of glitz and glamour, but behind the scenes, it's often a battleground of egos and temper tantrums. Some onset feuds have become the stuff of legend, proving that even the biggest stars can clash in the most spectacular ways. Here are 14 of Hollywood's most infamous onset feuds. Richard Gere and Sylvester Stallone. This beef was so intense it led to Richard Gere being replaced on the set of The Lords of Flatbush. Stallone, not one to mince words, recounted an incident where Gere spilled greasy chicken all over him. The incident devolved into a shoving match and consequently, Gere was replaced in the film. Decades later, the chicken incident still ruffles feathers. Who can forget the palpable chemistry between Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey in Dirty Dancing? But behind the scenes, it was a different story. The two had previously worked together on Red Dawn, and Swayze found Grey to be overly emotional and unprofessional. During the filming of Dirty Dancing, the tensions rose to the surface. Swayze was irked by Grey's mood swings and tendency to giggle during scenes. Grey was reportedly intimidated by Swayze's intensity. Ironically, their friction worked wonders for their on-screen chemistry, making for one of the most iconic romantic films of the 80s. The action-packed 24 was home to an off-screen feud between Kiefer Sutherland and Freddie Prince Jr. that was no less dramatic. Prince Jr. revealed in an interview that he disliked working with Sutherland so much that he considered quitting acting. He found Sutherland to be unprofessional, stating he'd never work with him again. Sutherland, for his part, seemed blindsided by these comments, making this a feud that left its mark. Hollywood's golden age was rife with juicy rivalries, and none burned brighter than the feud between Bette Davis and Joan Crawford. Their clash escalated during the filming of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Davis reportedly kicked Crawford in the head during a scene, and Crawford retaliated by wearing weights during a sequence where Davis had to drag her, making it physically arduous for her rival. The off-screen bitterness was as palpable as the on-screen tension, making this feud one for the ages. You wouldn't be able to do these awful things to me if I weren't still in this chair. But you are, Blanche, you are in that chair. Boldly going where no feud has gone before, we have Captain Kirk and Sulu from the original Star Trek series. Despite sharing a spaceship, William Shatner and George Takei had an ongoing disagreement that originated from Shatner allegedly hogging the limelight. Takei once revealed in an interview that Shatner would act as though he didn't know him on set, sparking a decades-long tension. Seems like space was not the final frontier for these two. What are you doing? I don't know you. What, what did I do to you? What happened? I have no idea what his beef is. I have no idea who he is or what he is or what he wants. I've never answered him, but he has continued to, to spoil my reputation uh, in one way or another. And finally, I thought, you know, that's enough. The fictional love story between Romeo and Juliet was nothing short of romantic, but the behind-the-scenes relationship between Claire Danes and Leonardo DiCaprio on Baz Luhrmann's film was far from a love story. DiCaprio, known for his prankster antics, rubbed the serious and professional Danes the wrong way. She allegedly found him immature, while he thought she was uptight. Thankfully, their off-screen clashes didn't affect their on-screen chemistry. Terms of Endearment the movie that tugs at your heartstrings was a source of onset tension between co-stars Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger. Their animosity got so heated that Winger reportedly lifted MacLaine's skirt during a scene, and MacLaine responded by socking Winger in the mouth. But as they say, the show must go on, and both delivered Oscar-nominated performances. Contrary to the steamy on-screen relationship their characters shared in the Fifty Shades of Grey series, Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson's off-screen rapport was rather lukewarm. Reports circulated that Dornan wasn't a fan of Johnson's personality, which was reciprocated by Johnson. Though they maintained professional decorum throughout the filming, 
It's safe to say there were more sparks flying on screen than off. The tumultuous making of Mad Max Fury Road was marked by a fiery clash between its two stars. Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron's feud was allegedly spurred by Hardy's method acting, leading to Theron feeling unsafe. Theron once stated that their on-set relationship could be likened to a family road trip that went very, very wrong. The hostility bled into their performances, creating an intense on-screen dynamic. The set of Charlie's Angels was far from angelic when Bill Murray and Lucy Liu went head to head. The feud ignited when Murray reportedly criticized Liu's acting, causing her to throw punches at him. The altercation resulted in Murray being replaced by Bernie Mac in the sequel. Quite the kick, even for an action film. The romantic tension that kept audiences hooked to moonlighting was mirrored by a palpable off-screen tension between its stars. Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd. Their feuding got so out of hand that they often refused to talk to each other on set. Despite the turmoil, their dynamic made Moonlighting one of the most popular shows of the 80s. The witchy sisterhood depicted in Charmed wasn't mirrored behind the scenes. Shannon Doherty and Alyssa Milano had such a fiery disagreement that Doherty ended up leaving the show after the third season. The two actresses allegedly couldn't stand each other, leading Doherty to be written out of the series. There was nothing gleeful about the animosity between Naya Rivera and Leah Michelle on the set of Glee. Rivera detailed in her memoir that their relationship soured when Michelle allegedly began to ignore her. According to Rivera, Michelle would not say a word to her for an entire season, despite their characters being close on screen. The tension reportedly stemmed from Michelle's perception that Rivera was stealing the limelight. You will never be able to look down on me and redeem yourself because I was better than you then and I'm always going to be better than you. You are short, you are awful, and that is never going to change. <gasps> the glamorous friendships of Sex in the City hit a notorious feud between Sarah Jessica Parker and Kim Cattrall. The two reportedly clashed over unequal salaries and diva behavior. Cattrall felt she was treated as a lesser star compared to Parker, while Parker was left hurt by Cattrall's public disses. The feud escalated to a point where Cattrall refused to participate in any future Sex and the City projects, leaving fans disappointed. Still, and just like that, producers somehow convinced her to return in season two finale cameo.